Hello everyone, I am from Mizo Study and in this session we are again discussing some important questions from the need biology and in this session we are going to discuss the chapter that is cell, the unit of life. This is again from the 11th section. We are discussing some important questions from cell. Let's start the session and discuss the question one by one. The first question from cell, the unit of life is Cell theory is not applicable for options are bacteria, fungus, algae and virus. We all know that virus, virus is the one which we are facing in this pandemic situation. Virus may be defined as infectious subcellular subcellular and ultra microscopic ultra microscopic particle and that generally follow the obligate they generally follow the obligate parasite mode obligate parasite mode and virus are potential pathogen known as a potential pathogen whose reproduction reproduction includes the replication it means double the number of copy or the process of reproduction Reproduction only in the host cell. Only in the host cell. Virus is an infectious subcellular ultra microscopic particle act as an obligate parasite mode. Virus is the potential pathogen that reproduce or we can say the replicate only in the host cell cell and by after replicating they transfer and transmit to the new host by by infection by infection caused in host cell by infection caused in host cell it may be further categorized into the contagious and the non-contagious that can be differentiated on the basis of touch basically there are various other categories which we discuss in the chapter only the next when this is the condition only when we discuss the virus enter in the host cell when the virus is outside the host cell outside the host cell virus are just like virus are just like known livings so virus are the one which opt both the properties having the known living and the living one living one act only in the presence of host cell and non-living one when they are outside the host cell due to all these uh, perspective and the facts related to the virus we name it as a virus can be named it as a primitive organism primitive organisms that have not that have not reached reached a cellular state they can not reached up to the cellular state they act both the live known living one when they are outside the host and the living one when they are inside the host cell so according to the discussion 
according to the discussion the right answer for the question is option d that is the virus the question is cell theory is not applicable for we just discussed that virus is the primitive organisms that have not reached up to the cellular level and opted both the more non living and the living part so this is the right answer for this question let's move on and discuss the next question the next one is a cell is a no cell without here are four option golgi bodies ribosomes nucleus and mitochondria when we discuss about a cell or when we discuss about the human body human body is not at all human body when we are not having our brain like that only when we discuss about the cell the nucleus is a nucleus is a specialized double membrane specialized double membrane bound protoplasmic body protoplasmic body protoplasmic body these protoplasmic body generally contain the genetic information which generally control the production and formation of the next generation genetic information are encountered in nucleus only nucleus is a double membrane bound protoplasmic body present in the cell and these genetic information control control cellular metabolism metabolism and and transmission of transmission of progeny progeny means the production and the formation of next generation progeny what we used when we discuss about the next generation apart for all these the nucleus is a nucleus is a most conspicuous most conspicuous and largest and largest organelle of eukaryotic cell of eukaryotic cell largest organelle of eukaryotic cell when we discuss about the nucleus where it present either the eukaryote or the prokaryote cell nucleus found in all cells of either eukaryotes or prokaryotes eukaryotes and the prokaryotes both when we discuss about the higher mature sieve cells in the mammalian erythrocytes name as a mammalian erythrocytes erythrocytes we use for rbc leukocyte for wbc and thrombocyte for platelets the erythrocytes contain no nucleus so for the neat point of view you know about in which organelle it is present and in which cells they are absent since due to the absence of nucleus absence of nucleus they are they are known as known as red blood capsules red blood capsules rather than cells rather than cells when we discuss about the wbc we name it as a white blood cells 
because there is a presence of nucleus in the white blood cells but there is a absent in red blood cells there is a absence means no nucleus that's why we name it as a red blood corpuscles a part of rather than saying the cells so after the discussion the right answer for the question is nucleus nucleus is the one which is present in the cell and make the cell say so option c that is nucleus is the right one in this case let's discuss the next question from the cell unit of life the next question is the function of peroxisomes is option a h2o2 destruction b conversion of fat to carbohydrates C detoxification of heavy metals and D is oxidative phosphorylation. When we discuss about the first peroxisomes, what is peroxisomes? Peroxisomes are microbodies, microbodies. that contain enzymes and the enzymes for peroxide biosynthesis that's why the name is peroxisome peroxisomes is the microbodies that include enzymes in itself and that enzyme for the formation of peroxides the peroxisome contain the peroxisome contain one or more peroxide producing enzymes like urate oxidase urate oxidase next is d amino acid d amino acid oxidase third one is alpha hydroxy alpha hydroxy acid oxidase oxidase and last one is beta hydroxy beta hydroxy acid oxidase when we discuss about the peroxisome that is focused for peroxide biosynthesis that enzymes basically contain urate oxidase first next is a d amino acid oxidase alpha hydroxy oxidase and beta hydroxy acid oxidase when we discuss in animal cells in animal cells peroxisomes peroxisomes take part in the oxidation of oxidation of number of biochemicals number of biochemicals that generally take part or including extra extra amino acids extra amino acids alcohol and and toxins basically in animal cell peroxisome take part in the oxidation of number of biochemicals that generally includes the amino acid alcohol and the toxins so it generally contains the catalase catalase enzyme for the destruction of h2o2 that is hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide and when we discuss about the plant in plant cells what is the role of peroxisomes in the plant cells in plant cells peroxisomes are 
found in found in photosynthetic cells that cells are focused for the process of photosynthesis photosynthetic cells and perform and perform the process name as a photorespiration that is the wasteful process for the plants because it generally usage of atp and at the result there is a production of waste that is the waste uh, substance for uh, other animals that is the carbon dioxide by taking the oxygen and usage of atp so the photorespiration in plants is also known as a wasteful reactions or the wasteful process so apart for discussing the answer is there are the two roles of peroxisom first of all peroxisomes is micro bodies that contains enzymes for the peroxide biosynthesis these peroxisomes are generally are uh, of two types no name as a uh, in animal cell they are focused for the catalyze of the H2O2 that is a hydrogen peroxide degradation and in plant cell found in the photosynthetic cells perform the photorespiration photorespiration the answer for the question is the right answer is h2o2 destruction so the right one is h2o2 destruction is the right one in this case let's move on and discuss the next question from the cell the unit of life this is which of the following has a single unit membrane organ option a golgi body b nucleolus c mitochondria and d lysosome when we discuss about the single unit membrane organ each cell contain number of golgi bodies number of golgi bodies who is given after the name of the scientist golgi body is focus and function as a packing as a package those products package those products into into smaller structure called as golgi vesicle golgi vesicles the material arrived at the golgi bodies are from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum that is the smooth and rough rough is due to the presence of ribosome at the surface the golgi bodies is are categorized into further two types golgi bodies on the basis of their activities are categorized into two types name as a micro bodies and next is a secretory bodies micro bodies and secretory bodies these golgi vesicles these golgi vesicles are contain the material that exported exported means secreted secreted from the cells these material that are exported and excreted by the golgi bodies are that materials are not waste not waste products are not waste products 
that are chemically intentionally manufactured by the cell the material which are exported by the golgi body are not at all waste material and the products that are produced by the cell only for the export purpose the next is like the material is like generally hormones pheromones hormones that is enzymes basically during the process of cytokinesis during cytokinesis small vesicle small vesicles name as phragmoplast phragmoplast are provided by the golgi complex and that is help in that is help in cell plate formation that is help in the cell plate formation so this is generally focused for the cell plate formation and involved in the cytokinesis we discussed so far is about the golgi body is the package those produce into the small structure as known as a golgi vesicle and they are produced from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum they includes two bodies that is a micro body and the secretory body although golgi body is focused for exported or secreted the waste product in the material from the cells that's why according to the discussion so far the right answer for the question is right answer for the question is d that is lysosome lysosome is also known as a suicidal bag of the cell suicidal bag of the cell that generally focused for the extrusion and exit of the waste product from the cell like the hormones and the pheromones so according to the discussion the right answer for the question is option d that is lysosome let's discuss the next question from the cell the unit of life the next question is golgi body is associated with option a package and storage of material cell wall formation c transport of fatty acid d all of these when we discuss about the golgi body that is focused for associated of packing material and storage of material cell wall formation transport of fatty acid and all of these so according to the discussion the right answer the right answer for the question is the right answer for the question is all of these